See the condition. Look at all that. See, first off, rule number one can't be lazy. You gotta take that top out, get that fan out of the way so you can get down in there. Like I say, I don't use no chemicals, straight water. This is people done use the chemicals over the years. This is what happened to it. There ain't no way you can wash all that chem them chemicals off there. All they needed water. There one guy say he's going to want, want to get, get the uh, fins back shining. For what? This unit. So you can't, can't be lazy. You got to get all this out the way so you, so you can get to it. I know if you charge $20 for, for a main, I'll see why you don't want to do that. You know, it's a money thing, too. Be honest with, be honest, be honest with the customer, though. The, the $20 maintenance. And they think they system good and maintenance. You ain't did nothing. We just trying to sell them apart. So we're so we gonna take our time, wash them inside out. And we're gonna go, gonna go through every little piece of this for. Especially that bottom. Get all that stuff out that bottom so it's gonna have all that trash down here. So the water can drain now. I'm gonna go through every little inch of this pour right here, just like that. See this right here? Watch this inside out. I'm gonna knock all that out of there. See that? Yeah, all, all you want to make sure that look at that water going through there. All you doing is unclogging the fence. You need cleaner up for. So what kind of clean they 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 clean? What brand it is, they say it don't erode the core. They don't know what they're gonna do 10, 15 years from now. But all of them in the AC game, you know, to make money, so they probably, do, they probably want the core to erode. So they tell you to wash it off good. But then you ain't gonna even take the top off and wash it off good. Word to the wire though, you don't need no coil clean. You gotta take your time. Take, take your time. And you get at every little bit of that coil. Don't skip a damn spot. But then when, when you want to troubleshoot, you know for a fact, next time they call you out or something like that, they ain't got that, uh, the condenser coil ain't the problem. You know. If you're talking evaporator for them, it's hard to get to a spot. Maybe you do got to put a little clean on there. You know, especially if people ain't got the money to, uh, uh, don't got the budget to let you take that evaporator coil outside. But, uh, yeah, take your time. Now I got all that dirt out of there. Now I can breathe. So when it rains, so all that dirt get in there, it'll leak out the bottom of the machine. See all that corrosion right there. I just, I just somebody, like I say, put that stuff on there, had that top on there, and couldn't even get to where they put the core clean. Can't get to it, ain't take the top off. Get out of there. This is all they did right here. So I say, you can't, it's hard to get, get that grass out, out of there. 
But if you want to take these things apart. But uh, the customer's paying me to do this one. See, I, I, if I wanted to, I could just do this right here, you know, and I'm just doing this for free. I don't even have to do this. So they paying for one unit right now. But if I just wanted to do this, you know, since they ain't paying me for it, I ain't gonna go through all the trouble, you know, taking everything out. But if you got a unit side by side, why not throw this in there? It'll take five minutes, you know, quick little rinse. Save them on the electric bill. I'll throw that in there. Of course, I'm going to let them know I did too, but you know, let them have a little maintenance on it. Let them know I appreciate their business. Oh, yeah, it's hard to get that stuff out of there. You got that gate on there. See that water lined up? See, see these Harvey units? It's flooded back here. That's why they're so dirty. Be careful with that lesson. Like I say, this unit is good to go now, though. Yeah. Had to get my Got a little air gap down there now. Breathe a little bit. The head pressure down a little bit. I am right, out though. He's back. Peace, fool. Do the right thing. That car look good. Now I'm back though. Hey, just some food for thought. Putting this gate back on. For the people just just starting the HVAC. Make it a habit of doing this every time. Cause sometimes. When you be doing it, it's gonna be hard to put these frames back on. But you're gonna start building habits. You do it every time. I know you have your good days and your bad days, but if you do this every time, the funny thing, you're gonna start getting used to it and it ain't gonna be nothing to you. Cause you're gonna build that habit. You're gonna have more experience. You're gonna have more experience. I ain't got my GoPro, so I can't do this with one hand, I don't think. But you're gonna have more experience. Uh, take a different unit on and off, you know, and uh, you can have good results too. So, just, just try to get a habit of doing this every time, and then it's just gonna be in your subconscious just to do it. Yeah, take the unit apart when you say you're gonna do it maintenance. I'm out though. They're tired, they're hungry too. So, we get the car. Okay. All right. See ya. Let's see. What's up, my man? You chilling? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see you in there. Look. What's up, my man? Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh? Walk walk. Yeah. Where y'all order from? Uh, public spot. Uh, we come from Ohio. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. see a lot of people ordering. Oh yeah. Why I yeah. Look at them though. Hey, that's the champion bloodline. Oh, yeah. 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 He ready. That about uh, I think they said about 125. Mama, honey. Yeah. You can be right. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Solid.